Speaking of changes and improvements, we've got some more lane shifts coming to the viaduct that's going to impact drivers on 95 going through Providence. What should they know? We do. I think um, the, the worst is bias now when we had to split off one high speed lane last week um, in order to finish up some construction on the new bridge, which um, we will in the next few days be moving everybody on to. Uh, so all the lanes will be on to the new bridge that we have constructed in that area. In record time, I might add, uh, this bridge is has been completed in two years in advance of what we originally expected to be completed in. And we will be moving all lanes of traffic onto the new bridge structure that will allow us over the next several years to demolish the old bridge and replace the existing ramps that come on and off that stretch of highway that have, that have created congestion for years and decades um, and change those into a more modern, efficient kind of lane structure that will have a service road with connector ramps that will not require people to cross over and um, create the congestion that we currently have. It's going to eliminate a lot of issues. That'll happen over the next two or three years incrementally. But the first major shift uh, that we'll be seeing is the move of all of our all of our um, lanes of traffic on 95 onto the new bridge. And uh, that I expect will be happening in the next several days.